Hello again, uh, ran YouTube views and random Doctor Who fans all over the world. Hello. Um, today I'm going to be re-reviewing this. Uh, I said re-reviewing. I've already done one, but I'm doing another one. Uh, the Tenth Doctor's re-released the screwdriver. Now, keep in mind, this screwdriver is quite uh, the re-release of this isn't as bad as the re-release of this. Uh, this is uh, this is this looks like the original Doctor Who. It's not. It's the re-release. Um, which is obviously as you've watched the video that Brooks Saxon has seven did on this, you'll know that and the one that I did on this, obviously the second one I didn't the first one I did. You'll know that this is a terrible re release of Robert Song's Sonic Screwdriver. Because they took away the new relay uh, effects and they took away the uh, red setting. So if we put that slide now, back to this one. Uh, it's still the same basic Sonic Screwdriver, you've still got the extra activation buttons here on the side. Uh, one god, can't remember any of it. Uh, one at the top here. And one right the way down the bottom there. Bottom there. And of course, you've still got uh, that cracked horseling effect there. Lovely job. Uh, but the features, you still get the same two basic sound effects, which are this one. And of course, this one. Uh, also, as you saw, the emitter head still goes up and down like that, which you do by pushing on this little square piece. So you just push that very gently up. It goes up, you pull it down, and it comes down. Now, to change the batteries, because again, as this is a re release, uh, it comes with the batteries already pre installed. You just take off this little white cap here, take this off, like that, oops, and you can see there's a screw there. You just undo that screw, uh, take that out. Push it up to the middle, so I'll push it up to the middle, advisedly, push that bit. So see I've done there is I've pushed it all the way up. So there is I've extended the emitter as far as the middle. Then you undo the screw, uh, then you undo that screw, take the screw out, pull that out. Uh, the emitter head then separates from its body, uh, from the main body of the screwdriver, and you can change the battery. Bit of a faff, bit of a fiddle I know, but that's why it comes with batteries already pre-installed, so that you don't have to waste time doing that. Um, I would give this... Well, I wasn't a detailed review, but it was a review. Because uh, it's almost two review, really. Details. Obviously, there's no uh, cycled paper with this, but it still has that purple UV light. Uh, it's got LED in it. I'm not sure why, so there's no point for that. And there's no pen. No UV pen, no nothing. But I would, give this a f I would, but I would actually give this a 5 out of 10, because it's still a brilliant, a brilliant screwdriver. Um, not even about Saxmo 7. Uh, was able to, or Susan McCullough, as he's better known, uh, to me now, would, would, was even able to talk this guy very much because he said, you know, he admitted himself also that it's still quite a good screwdriver, um, you know, and it's still got its full potential there. And he actually destroys these on a daily basis, trying to get them to work by putting the button on the slider so that no matter where it slid, you can, if it was slid to just like there, you could press it. If it was slid to the middle there, you could press it. So no matter where it slid or where else, the, the, the one of the both of actually, my thing here, my, my emitter section has become quite loose. And also, this cap on the feature sonic, here's a little cap here, has also become quite loose. Uh, I did a, a video of uh, tips on the River Song Sonic separately to the review, so I'm going to do the tips uh, on this review for this review along with this review. So, what I've got is you could just take that little cap off, unscrew it. And cut, if you know which one it is, cut the wire that controls the sound, um, which then means that you don't have a light on it, like the actual prop. Uh, another tip I've got is that you can also uh, watch the Osmo Upgrade video that Bert Saxon 07 does, uh, which will help you. Uh, which will help you upgrade this because it works just how it works in the show. Uh, I, I personally think it's alright the way it is. It's alright, but it could have done, it could have made it work like it did in the show by putting a button there. So all I have to do is just put a little black button on that slider and on that slider there, and it would have worked perfectly. Yeah. There's the tip. You can cut the sound and it works just like the prop by only having a, a light come on, uh, which would also, you could buy two of these and have one as like a, a prop model slash torch and have one as, well, Sonic, proper Sonicy, Sonicy, Sonic. Who you? Sonic. Sonic. So um, yeah. 
that's that's really it, basically. Uh, keep watching me, my videos. Keep watching both Saxon and the Sims videos. Uh, keep following the nerd, really. Um, wait, can we get to this for a second? Yeah. It, it is in the court. It is in the punish. It is in the punishment. You know, it is an abominable, an abominable abom 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 punishment. It is horrible. It is ridiculously stupid because it took away. I just remove this side panel. Uh, there's a new relay. Um, it took that away. So a little tip I can give you though. Um, so my mate told me about this with the original uh River song Sonic. If you really want to uh. Uh, one thing we can do is just remove the side cap like that, and just run around with it like that. Just go around with it like that, so that you can just press it, and then Sonic it red, Sonic it blue. You will relay all that rubbish again. Show you, just click it on, and it sets back into place. But you could just remove that completely, and just have that. But obviously, that's not what it's supposed to look like. It's supposed to look like that. Um, you see that has become quite loose, uh, but still, this is uh, the re-review of this. Tenth Doctor's re-release of its screwdriver. Thank you very much. I give it a five out of ten because it's still quite a good screwdriver, even though so it's just because you can take it away. Its main feature really is that it slides up and down. Uh, its main two selling points are that it still slides up and down, and the batteries come pre-installed. So thanks for watching. Keep following the nerd. Keep watching me, keep watching the 607, and keep following the nerd!